Hey guys, what's up? This is Sparks, and I'm going to show you guys how to install the Utility Torrents mod for Minecraft. Um, so first off, if you guys check out the link in the description, and you guys uh, take it'll take you right to this website. If you guys click on the Utility Torrents mod, you're going to see this info. And you're going to scroll all the way down. And you're going to see this info and downloads here. Um, yeah, you're going to see this Utility mob. So if you guys see this Utility Torrent, you're going to scroll all the way down here. Um, you're going to see this info and downloads. You want to select uh, show right here you're gonna see this downloads right here so if you click show there you're gonna see this utility mobs right here you're gonna want to uh, download this and save it to your desktop uh, just like this right there utility mobs and you guys are also going to want to download um, forge if you guys check out the link in the description that says forge you're gonna see this it's gonna take you right to here and um, you guys want to make sure you guys download the very top version and you're gonna want to make sure you guys download the universal version so make sure you guys download both of those and save them to the desktop just like that. There will also be another link in the description that says Optifine. Optifine will not be required for this mod, um, but it is a really great mod for Minecraft lag, so it'll help you guys with your lag. So I'm going to show you guys how to install that. But again, it is not required for this mod, so if you don't want to, it is fine if you don't want to install it. So once you guys have downloaded and installed, or once you guys have downloaded all those and put them on the desktop just like that, you guys are going to want to open Minecraft. So once you guys have Minecraft open, you're going to want to go to Options, Force Update, click Done, and Log In. Now the reason why we're forced updating my game is because I already have mods installed and I don't know if those mods are actually compatible with the utility turns mod and also with Forge. Now quick note, Minecraft Forge and Mod Loader are not compatible. So if you guys have Riz Yugami's Mod Loader installed, make sure you guys are forced updating your game or else you will get a black screen. Now if you guys are getting a black screen, it's probably because um, you guys aren't forced updating. So make sure you force update your game um, if you guys already have mods installed. So once you guys are forced update your game, click X, make sure Minecraft is closed when installing mods. So once you guys have downloaded those and you guys have also forced updated, you guys are ready to go to the next step. So if you see this percent at the percent on the very bottom here, you're going to want to click on start. If you click on start right there, you're going to want to type in percent A P P D A T A. That's percent app data and another percent. Now you're going to see this roaming folder on the very top. You want to click on the roaming folder. Now once you guys have the roaming folder open, you're going to see this dot Minecraft folder right here. You want to click on that dot Minecraft folder. You're going to see bin wrestlers and saves here. So if you click on bin, you're going to see the Minecraft executable jar file right here. So if you try to open the executable jar file, it is not going to let you. So if you push OK, if you right click on Minecraft and open it with WinRAR, you are able to open it. Now if you guys don't already have WinRAR installed, there will be a link in the description so you guys can download and install it from there. And then you guys can get back to this uh, where I'm at right now. Just follow the video exactly like I did it. And you guys can open the Minecraft.jar with WinRAR. Now once you guys have the Minecraft.jar open there, you guys are going to see this meta folder here. You're going to want to right click on the meta folder, delete files, and push yes. Now the reason why we're deleting meta info is because if you don't delete it, it's not going to allow your mods to run and you will get a black screen. So make sure you guys delete that meta info. Okay, so once you guys have the mad inf deleted, you guys are going to want to open Minecraft Forge Universal version that you guys downloaded for your current version of Minecraft, and make sure you guys have that open on uh, the Minecraft Forge. Uh, you're also going to see a meta inf here, but you guys don't want to delete that because it's part of Forge. So if you just select all, drag all these files right into the Minecraft.jar that you open with WinRAR, push OK, and you guys are done with the Minecraft Forge. So you can close that. Now once you guys have uh, Minecraft Forge done, um, you guys are going to open Optifine. Um, again, Optifine is not required for this mod. But it is a pretty, really great mod for Minecraft lag. So you want to open Optifine, select all, drag all these files right into the Minecraft.jar, push OK, and you guys are done with Optifine. So you can close Optifine, and you can also close the Minecraft.jar that you have within R. Now you're going to want to be back here where you open the Minecraft.jar. You originally, you want to click back where you see bin resources, resources and saves. And you, if you guys are actually lost, you don't know where I'm at. How we got to this was a percent app that percent. Then we went to the roaming folder, and then we went to Minecraft. So this is where you see bin resources and saves. You want to go to, uh, go to add a new folder. You want to call it MODS, all undercaps mods, push enter, and you want to open this mods folder. Now make sure this mods folder is always empty. If not, just leave those files, and you guys can grab the utility mobs, drag them right into there, and that is completely done with installation, and you guys are ready to play your game. So, hopefully you guys like this install. Hopefully it helped you guys out, and uh, if you guys actually want to be part of the Blaze Army, make sure you guys are subscribed. And I do a lot of mod installs, a lot of mod reviews on my channel, and if you guys actually want to see the uh, utility uh, Turrets mod you guys actually want to see what's actually in there you guys check out that link in the top left hand corner up there and It'll take you to my mod review of this utility turns mod